G'day, Emma Hayden here at Pacific Toyota giving you the personalized high definition virtual tour of our 2016 Kia Sorento. Uh, now, before I get into the Kia itself, what I thought I would do is show you who Pacific Toyota are. So, if you haven't been here before, this is us up here in Cairns. Um, and here at Pacific Toyota, we actually have two premium used car locations. Now, between the two sites, we stock in excess of about 160, generally to about 180 vehicles at any given time. Right, so if we follow the main road just out in front of me where that van is, now if we follow that about two kilometres uh, up into a, uh, a suburb called Bungalow, you will stumble across our secondary site, um, as well as our two brand new showrooms. We have Toyota and Lexus up there, um, as well as our service and our spare parts department. And then around the corner, we also have opposite lot full drive accessories, Coral Motors and Hino Trucks. So we've got quite a large dealership up here in Cairns, but uh, without further ado, we'll jump straight into the video tour of the uh, the Sorento for you. So basically what a uh, video tour does is it just shows you through the entire vehicle really. So we're gonna go through all the paint and panel, the engine bay, interior, service history, uh, obviously what comes with the vehicle, instrumental wise, so on and so forth. Uh, basically everything that you'd expect to see if you're in the dealership looking at the car, I'm gonna show you just through a video. Uh, so we're gonna pop the hood. I've got the car running at the moment, so at least you know it's got an engine and it works. So nice gas struts for easy access. And you can hear the car running. So this one is a, uh, a turbo diesel all-wheel drive. Nice and tidy up the Right, down the front of the bonnet. See, again, nice and tiny, no visible dents, which is good. Uh, stone chip wise, there's a couple of tiny little stone chips just on the front here. Um, nothing that a bit of touch up paint can't fix up. Oops, another one just here as well. Through the front bar, again, a couple of little uh, stone chips as you can see, just uh, as I go through the front bar there, so there's one just down below and then one just here as well. Um, but you can see there front facing sensors. So we move along, then a couple of little, little marks. And another one just on the side here, and another one just here as well. But look, all in all, through the front bar, there's no major damage, just a cut, little bit of cosmetic damage, but that's easy fix. Um, I can get them touched up for you, no drama at all. Um, now, wheels and tyres, so we've got a Goodyear uh, tyre on this one, um, and they're uh, obviously a uh, factory alloy wheel. Now, they're a 17 inch factory alloy and a, uh, I guess, a medium size SUV uh, performance tyre. With plenty of tread left on those ones there, as you can see. Um, so, we're going to go down, obviously, the driver's side now. Just show you down through all the panels. As you can see, nice and straight, no visible dents, which is good. Uh, so through all the uh, paintwork now. So wind mirror with your indicator mounted high. Just a mark just down here. Other than that, from what I can see, it seems to be nice and tidy. Work our way through to the rear of the car now. Down through the rear tailgate. Little mark just here. So the Sorento is a seven seat all wheel drive. They fold down into the floor like so. Now I don't even think the seven seats have ever been used. So they've still got the plastic wrapped around them. And that should be for both sides memory. So I don't even think these have ever been sat in to be honest. So um, look all in all a, uh, <laughs> seems to be a nice well looked after vehicle. Them down. All right, so air conditioning controls at the uh, rear here for the rear passengers. Obviously, uh, three car seat uh, holsters in the back. Jack and tools. Spare tire should be located just underneath us here. Uh, but with this one, you also get your rear uh, sensors through the back, as you can see. And then your reversing camera just up behind your number plate there. Now across the top of the roof. Nice and tidy through there. And then down the passenger side this time. 
So again, as you can see, nice and tidy, uh, no visible dents. Paint work wise, bit of a mark just here. Other than that, from what I can see, nice and tidy. All right, so you can see we do have privacy glass through the rear panes. So that's just a stained darkened glass for a bit of privacy in the back. Uh, so speaking about the back, we'll jump into the back seats now. So the carpet floor mats, backs of the chairs. So the seats are all in good condition. Uh, down here you can see you do have a USB uh, port and a, a 12 volt port as well, as well as rear air conditioning vents also. Alright, so nice and tidy through the uh, second row there. Jump into the uh, vehicle itself, the cockpit. Alright, so kilometres, uh, 85,257 uh, instrumental wise. What do we got? Uh, so on your steering wheel on your left hand side you have all your stereo and obviously all your Bluetooth and then over on the right hand side all your cruise control uh, settings as well as your center screen as you can see just there. Uh, automatic headlights and then windscreen wipers are on the opposite side um, and then across into all your window central locking and side mirror controls. Now with your side mirrors they are a power fold mirror so you just click that button and then they fold back out. Now they'll do that auto as well, automatically. So when you lock the car and all that sort of stuff, they'll they'll fold in shut, all four windows, and then your central locking and window locks are just here. Two remote keys with the vehicle, as you can see. Uh, fuel lever. Cross into our infotainment system, which has your satellite navigation set up. We'll just jump back into radio. Turn that up. So all speakers are working nicely there, um, which is good. We'll jump into media. Obviously media will have your all your, I guess, um, uh, Apple CarPlay and all that sort of stuff in there. Um, so all your settings there. We'll go back to nav, obviously your maps, all that's in there. So nice large display screen. So the SD card's tucked up up in here. Uh, moving along, we have dual zone climate control, so each side can have their ideal temperature depending on what, how hot and cold you want it. So as you can see, the passenger at the moment is changing and the driver is staying the same. I like mine on low because cans is nice and hot, um, but you can still have all your, I guess your generic um, uh, features as well like your fan speed and your direction and, and demisters and all that sort of stuff as well uh, Another 12 volt auxiliary port well two of them and then your USB and AUX that closes up nicely uh, Nice wood grain finish uh, for the gear lever um, Park reverse central drive and then across into a sport shift where you can change up and down through the gears uh, you have your driver modes, so like a sports uh, and an eco mode so if you press that you can see in the center there Eco, sport mode, and that's just bake, basically just autos, otters, alters how the throttle responds. Um, and then you have all your uh, other features as well, like your reversing and all your parking sensors front and rear, uh, center differential lock for the all drive system, and then all your park brake uh, settings are just there. Nice large center console compartment for all the goodies. And then into the service history. So this one here was previously a government car, which generally tells me it should have a full service history. So if we jump in here, we have 11, again at 26, again at 43, again at 61, and then again at 80. And then we've obviously done one here, not due till 95,000 kilometers. So a full and complete service history. Obviously all the books are in there as well. As you can tell, the car has been extremely well looked after. Being a government car, it really would have only driven from department to department. So just highway driving, um, which means it's had a, um, you know, a, a really good life. It's been well looked after, well serviced. Uh, the interior shows that, like the seven seats have never been sat in. 
Um, the the second row and the front seats are both in fantastic condition. It's got the genuine uh, carpet floor mats. There's no real scratching on any of the dashing or anything like that. Let's look at the top of the dash is all in fantastic condition as well. Um, so we're going to jump out and give a fun look over the vehicle. Alrighty, so that is our 2016 Kia Sorento 7 seat for $30,990. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do have any further questions, so please don't hesitate to give me a call. I look forward to uh, chatting with you very soon. Cheers.